In this episode, I travel to the world's first UFO landing pad in the small town of St. Paul, Alberta, Canada. It was built as part of the Canadian Centennial Celebration in 1967 to help attract both tourists and extraterrestrials. Next to the landing pad is a saucer-shaped information center containing a UFO exhibit. Follow along as I explore this and many other locations that are weird and bizarre. So here's the landing pad, St. Paul, Alberta. My name is Missy Finley and I work here at the Tourist Information Centre in St. Paul uh, at the UFO landing pad and the landing pad was built in 1967 which was Canada's centennial and it was kind of at the peak of uh, Star Trek and Lost in Space and all these other uh, these other like space shows were really popular probably because the space race was on uh, between Russia and America and anyways uh, so 67 came along, Canada had money for tourist uh, tourist sites, uh, and St. Paul got in on that. Lafarge donated most of the concrete for the landing pad. There's four gentlemen who got together one night, and apparently they may have been imbibing some liquid substance, and they came <laughs> up with the idea to have a landing pad here in St. Paul. So, uh, yeah, they got together, built it in 1990, uh, Three. Oh, there were, sorry, go back to Saint, the landing pad a little bit. Uh, there were crop circles happening around the area. Okay. Uh, there were also a lot of cattle mutilations happening. So there was one story where a farmer went out to go check on his cattle and he just had a funny feeling and 20 minutes later he went back to check on the cattle again. And in that short amount of time, uh, one of his cows had been, like the tongue had been completely removed. Oh, really? There was no blood on the scene and there was really high levels of radiation when they tested. Hmm. Uh, no blood, no like any, it was just a, and it was like pre the precision of the cuts were just like beyond anything he'd ever yeah, seen. Yeah, I've heard of some of that stuff before. Yeah, super weird. So that was also, so there was like just that extraterrestrial weirdness going on in the area as well. So uh, anyways, uh, let's see, in 1993, this building was born, uh, was built. So it's a UFO uh, inside yeah. the disc. Uh, it's used as a tourist information center. Um, and we just changed it into a handmade local market in May. And it's been awesome to really reconnect with the community, 
further for the town of St. Paul. They built the UFO as like, a, or the landing pad, sorry. Uh, the premise was like, if we can't get along with one another here on Earth, how are we going to get along with extraterrestrials of any kind? Right. Uh, in that, in that vein, and so. Um, as such, that was kind of the spirit moving forward, bringing local artists and local craftspeople together from uh, Saddle Lake and from the areas that right. the many First Nations around here, as well as the uh, European descent folks from St. Paul itself. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's kind of it for me, I think. Okay, Any other questions? No? <laughs> no, that's it. Okay. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. If you have any suggestions of content you would like to see, or any comments, you can leave them below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next adventure.